Heavy rain, flooding, and destructive storms in the east. In the already dry southwestern part of the U.S., even drier conditions. And in the Pacific Northwest, we can expect hotter and drier summers. Uh, we had the big heat dome in late June, which I thought was really unusual for it to happen so early in the year. That's a little scary to me. Chris Daly is a geospatial climatologist at Oregon State University. Every 10 years, he and a team of researchers publish maps revealing the new normals for our country's climate. And the latest findings show those normals are getting more extreme. The maps show the area east of the Rockies is getting wetter, the southwest is getting drier, and temperatures are getting hotter. Yeah, there's no doubt uh, that temperatures are slowly creeping up uh, throughout the country. And for the Pacific Northwest in particular, the data showed a specific change in summer climate. The thing that jumped out for me in the Northwest is uh, hotter and drier summers, which is probably not surprising to anyone. Average rainfall during the summer is decreasing, with the Pacific Northwest getting up to 50% less summer rainfall than it got pre-1990. And while summer precipitation is on the decrease, temperatures are increasing. It's about a one to, degree, uh, one to two degree Fahrenheit increase in July maximum temperature. Daly says the heat dome we had this past June was a good indicator of what we're in store for in the future. Not so much because of how hot it got, but how hot it got so early in the year. Climatologists are concerned about longer summer droughts in the Northwest and a future climate that looks more like California's than Oregon's. And uh, that concerns me as it gets warmer and drier during the summer. Uh, I, I really worry about uh, uh, water availability and stress on vegetation, increased wildfire risk. Uh, all those seem to be in line with what climate models are predicting. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.